Yeah, thank you, Joël Rouet, The Bridge Paris. Uh, it's directly in line with what you just said, sir, as an introduction to my question that way. What can we expect from the COP26 to transform yep. the system of negotiation for the further COPs? Very quickly, as you said, the NDCs are not binding. It's for democracy to, to look for that, sure. But they're not committing to the industries, to the finance industry. Uh, we're talking the private sector. Now, if we're talking the public sector, the public finance, which is uh, uh, geared into that at the national, regional, global level, is, is far insufficient. Can we expect something right, from the COP26? And okay. maybe my gotcha. very last point, as you said very rightly in your techno-agrarian model, the agrarian part is, 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 is we have no answers. Can we dream of having the climate change COP and right. the, uh, the nature conservation, uh, biodiversity COP to be merged, finally. And you've got two Okay, seconds. very quickly, I'd be a, a little bit wary of merging the biodiversity COP and the climate change COP, certainly if we're going to hold it in Glasgow. I've got nothing against Glasgow. It's actually my home city. I'm glad to be going back there. But it's actually quite a small city. There isn't, there's going to be pretty crowded with one COP, let alone two. But Talk your point about the is serious. Um, what will happen at COP26 is the NDCs will not be adequate to get us on a 1.5 path. There is going to be a lot of talk and a, a, a lot of focus, and my own commission is very focused on what are the cross-cutting initiatives on road transport electrification, on the heavy industries, on a, a, a coal exit, which could make progress even without a full international negotiation. And I, I guess I would say in response to your first point, which was almost suggesting, how do we get all whatever it is, 185 signatories to the Paris Agreement to agree to a new process? That is inherently difficult. I think we will more work by accepting the process we've got as the full a, 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 a treaty process and creating these coalitions of the willing of enough leading companies and countries and coalitions that we make progress. I think that's how we're most likely to make progress in the 2020s, uh, in, in the 2020s. But now, it's a, concrete, it's Mr. Major, if you can. If you uh, can on the first question, what? Concrete and cement. Concrete and cement. Uh, concrete and cement. Yes, I wasn't clear how concrete and cement r related to the war in Iraq, but just let me argue uh, on concrete and cement, about 2.7 uh, gigatons of uh, a, a, a production uh, of emissions. There is a report coming out on October the 12th uh, by the Global Cement and Concrete Association, which sets out a pathway that, to get that to zero by 2050. It is doable. It will rely in part on a, 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 a carbon capture and storage. Cement, indeed, is the only sector of the economy where I think CCS is not just one technological option among many, but probably the only one, because the very chemical process of turning calcium carbonate into a calcium oxide. But, you know, it is a very important area. It means we should also be focusing incredibly on how much concrete do we need? The point about concrete is so cheap that when architects and builders work out how to build a building, they don't focus on minimizing it. So actually increasing the cost of concrete so all the architects and all the builders in the world start thinking about how to use it more efficiently could be a step forward. But I do think there are ways forward. Uh, like other of these heavy sectors, it tends to be one where the describable reduction path is a convex curve, not a concave curve. Uh, you make some progress to 2030 and then you accelerate. But can we get global cement and concrete to net zero by 2050? Yes, I absolutely believe we can. Adair, thank you very much indeed. We've overrun, um, but we're going immediately into the next session. So can I thank on behalf of everyone here in Chamonix,